Hello everyone, this is João from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the orbit, specifically the different blood vessels that you can find in the orbit. So what we're going to be doing here on this tutorial is going to this part of your body, specifically the orbit, and we're going to be describing the different arteries and also veins that we find in this area. We're going to start off with this one that you see here on the screen highlighted in green because this is one of the main arteries of the orbit that will then offer the different branches that you're going to be seeing here. Now this one is known as the internal carotid artery. This is a major paired artery, so you have one on each side of your head. And in general, this artery is going to be supplying the brain, but gives off many branches which supply other areas. The next one that we're going to be talking about that you see here highlighted in green, this one is the ophthalmic artery. And the ophthalmic artery is the first branch of the internal carotid artery, that artery that we saw on the previous slide. And keep in mind that right now we're looking at a superior view of the orbit where we cut the skull in a way to expose this area of your body. And then here you see the superior view of the ophthalmic artery. Now branches of the ophthalmic artery will be supplying all the structures in the orbit as well as some structures in the nose, face and meninges. Now, one important point that I want to make here is that the ophthalmic artery will be then splitting into different branches, numerous branches that we're going to be covering here on this tutorial. There are two main images that we see here throughout this tutorial. The first one I already told you about, which is the superior view. But this one that we also saw in the beginning, this is a lateral view of the orbit where we can expose these structures. You also see other structures here, like some nerves, as you can see here that are usually, or they are closely nearby these arteries that we're going to talk about. But now, right now, the main focus is this one here, the ophthalmic artery, which is highlighted in green, which gives numerous branches, such as the central retinal artery, the ciliary, the lacrimal, the supraorbital, the anterior and posterior ethmoidal, the supratrochlear, the dorsal nasal, and finally, some muscular branches that we are going to be seeing as well. Let's start off with the very first one here on the list. Now, again, from a superior view, we see here this highlight, this tiny structure here. This one is then the central retinal artery. And as I mentioned before, this is a branch of the ophthalmic artery running inferior to the optic nerve within its dural sheath to then the eyeball. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.